formula, including programming Heron's formula, we're going to look at Heron's formula, which was invented by the Greek inventor and mathematician Heron while in Alexandria. This man was a really great and prolific inventor. If we had to look for his equal in more modern times, perhaps Thomas Edison, the Wizard of Menlo Park, might be the best comparison. Of all his inventions, including a steam engine, the invention he made that is perhaps most apparent today was the vending machine. He created a vending machine that dispensed holy water paid for with coins. When a coin dropped in, the machine would dispense a dose of holy water. But today we'll look at his formula and this is it. For any triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, the area of that triangle can be calculated by taking the square root of S times quantity S minus A times quantity S minus B times quantity S minus C. Don't confuse this with the Pythagorean theorem where C is the hypotenuse. And using Heron's formula, A, B, and C can be any different sides of any triangle. However, in order to solve the equation, we need to know what S is. S is the semi-perimeter. The perimeter or all sides of the triangle added together and divided by 2. Let's work a problem. We have this triangle with sides of 7, 10, and 5. I hope you can see that without a formula like Heron's, we would have some work to do to find the height of this triangle before using the area equals one-half base times height formula. The first thing we have to do is find S. We substitute 10 for A, 7 for B, and 5 for C. That would give us 10 plus 7 plus 5 all over 2. And that gives us 22 over 2, or 11, for S. Now we plug in 11 for S and 10 for A, 7 for B, and 5 for C again in Heron's formula. And this is what it looks like in the calculator. To get the square root sign, press second, then the X squared key on the left side of the pad. I hope you can easily see that what is typed into the calculator is this formula with the numbers for all the sides A, B, and C along with the 11 for the S or semi-perimeter. And the answer is about 16 and a quarter squared units. That answer should make sense. If we use 10 for a triangle base, its height is about 3 units, just visually. 10 times 3 is 30, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. Pretty close to the 16 and 1 fourth calculated using Heron's formula. Whenever you have a formula with this many elements, having a program can really help, much like in the instance of using the quadratic formula. In a two-part formula like this with all the inputs, there is an intermediate step, then a final step, where a lot of numbers have to be entered correctly. I have found that in a formula like this, it can be really helpful to have a calculator program to make the calculations for us. Such a program could help us solve it more quickly, but more importantly, avoid opportunities for mistakes. To be clear, when we mention programming, we're talking about using a TI-83 series or TI-84 series graphing calculator. To start our program, press the program key, PGRM, right under the STAT key. If you don't have any programs already, this is what your view screen will look like. Arrow twice to the right, new is highlighted, and create new is the option one, which is our only choice here. Press enter, you will see the alpha input cursor blinking. Enter the name of the program you want to use. You can use eight characters maximum. I chose Heron F for Heron's formula. Press enter. The cursor is blinking awaiting your entry of the first line of program code. The first line of code will enter by going to the program key right under the stat key. Arrow once to the right to get to the input output menu. Scroll down to 8 which is clear home. Press enter. This is the line of code on the first line. Instead of scrolling down and entering you could have pressed 8. This clear home step is usually a good first step in programs because it clears off the view screen for the display to follow. Press enter to go to the next line of code. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right. Press down to three, arrow down to three, display. Press enter. Prepare to enter a string of text by entering second, then the alpha key. Your alpha cursor should be blinking like this. Enter an opening quotation mark by pressing the plus sign on the right side of the keypad. Enter the text as shown, Heron's formula. Don't forget the closing quotation mark. Press the alpha key to get out of alpha lock. Press enter. 
To start the next line of code, press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output menu. Press enter for input. Enter the quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus sign. Enter A by pressing alpha, then the math key to get the A. Enter the equal sign by pressing second, then math for the test menu. Press enter to choose the equal sign. Enter a space by pressing alpha, then the zero key at the bottom of the keypad. Enter the closing quotation by pressing alpha, then the plus key on the right. Press the comma key above the seven key. And make an A by pressing alpha key, then the math key with the A above it. Go to the next line of code by pressing enter. Go to program by pressing program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output menu. Choose input by pressing enter. Enter the rest of the line just like the line above except using B instead of A. Remember to enter the equal sign by pressing second math for the test menu. Then press enter for the equal sign. If you have trouble remembering how to do it, you can go back in the lesson to where we entered the A code line. After that, press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to input output. Press enter. Enter the next line of code as shown, this time using C instead of A or B. Again, if you have trouble remembering how to do it, go back to the line where we entered A and do the same thing on this line. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right. Press 3 to choose display. Prepare to enter a string of text by pressing 2nd, then the alpha key. Enter the code as shown. The area is. Make sure that it's within quotation marks. Press alpha to get out of the alpha mode. Press enter. Next we will enter this expression into our program, Heron's formula. And wherever S appears, we need to replace it with this, quantity A plus B plus C over 2. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right. Press 3 for display. Enter the formula as shown. The square root sign is made by pressing second, then the x squared key right above the log key. If all the parentheses are not in place correctly, you will get an error message. If you enter the program and it doesn't work, come back here to make sure you have it right. One common mistake is to enter the negative sign at the bottom of the keypad instead of the minus sign on the right side of the keypad. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right. Choose display by pressing 3. Prepare to enter another string of text by pressing 2nd, then alpha. Now enter the text as shown, squared units. Be sure, again, to place it in quotation marks. Get out of alpha lock by pressing the alpha key. Congratulations, the program is complete. Let's test the program. Get out of this mode by pressing second, then the mode key next to it for quit. To try the program, press the program key. Press enter to choose Heron F. Press enter again. We're going to try the same triangle we solved earlier by entering 10 for A, then press enter. Now we'll enter the second side of the triangle by pressing 7, then enter. And finally, we'll enter the final side by entering 5. With all the sides entered, press Enter. If you recall, this is the same number as when we did the problem with the formula earlier, 16 and 1 fourth approximately, and that demonstrates that the program was done correctly. A word of warning, when I was writing and testing the program as I went, I had a lot of syntax error messages. It's important to enter everything, especially the formula, exactly as shown in order for it to work correctly. This has been Heron's Formula, including programming the formula. Thanks for viewing.